Hi everyone, greetings to another of one of my Terry Talks Nutrition Facebook events. And here today, I would like to talk to you about one of my, I do have a lot of favorite herbal medicines, but this is also one of my favorite ones. It is grape seed extract. And why do I want to talk about natural medicines? You know, because they really have a very powerful force in proving, improving our health without its side effects that so many drugs have side effects. And the reason that we should take a look at alternative medicines is because if they're well designed with a high quality and clinically studied, they can perform as well as many drugs. And I'll give you some evidence of that shortly. But you know that in America, we consume 60% of all the drugs manufactured worldwide and we, met, and we consume 80% of all the pain-killing drugs manufactured worldwide. And 85% of all the drugs that are manufactured for kids worldwide are all consumed in America. We are a gobbling drug society. We think drugs are the answer for everything. And we have been convinced by that, by drug companies. And I think physicians are too overwhelmed and skeptical to talk about natural botanical medicines. And around the world, 80% of the world's population depend on plant medicines, natural plant medicines. Now, one thing we have to be careful with is that we can't assume that every herb by the same name has the same quality as those that have been studied. And I want to talk to you about grapeseed extract today. Grapeseed extract is from the seed of the grapes, the Chardonnay grapes. They don't use the seeds when you manufacture or produce wine. In red wine, they use the entire grape, seed, skin, pulp. When they make the white wine, they don't include the seed. So that is left over for whatever. And eventually scientists tried to look at why are the seeds discarded? They were actually given away to farmers to feed to their cattle, but then they started doing some research and they found that the grape seed extract is about an 80 to 90 percent content of polyphenols. And polyphenols, there's over a thousand polyphenols in our dietary intake if we eat fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, and all those are that are vegetable. The polyphenols are very, very high and they are one of the best medicinal a compound of all of our foods. They really lower diseases of all kinds, prevent disease, and actually reverse disease, and can treat disease. Now in studies with grape seed extract, four clinical studies that I have just reviewed of a very special grape seed extract called VX1. VX1 is the special form of grape seed extract that was studied at Baylor University and also at New City of Hope Hospital in Los Angeles. And what they primarily looked at was how to reduce tumors that were forming in the colon. So there was an animal study and also a human cell line study. In these studies, they found that grapeseed extract could lower these tumor cells as well as a drug called 5-FU. 5-FU is a very common drug, a chemo drug, that is prescribed for cancer patients, uh, tumors in the colon, but it's a very toxic drug. In fact, they have to monitor it very closely because it could kill the patient before the cancer does if they use a very high dosage. So they have to be very, very careful. But when they found out in these four clinical studies with grapeseed extract, that grapeseed extract could lower the dosage of 5-FU, could actually prevent the toxicity to a greater extent, prevent liver damage, and also prevent uh, cancer cell, excuse me, uh, brain cells from being damaged by chemotherapy. So it has a huge benefit for cancer treatment. And what they found out was there are very special cancer cells. You know, take for example, antibiotics. They no longer kill bacteria as well as they used to, because now bacteria have become very resistant to the antibiotics. So now they have to use stronger antibiotics 
more frequently of antibiotics to kill these super bacteria. You know, the bacteria want to survive. They get stronger, they get resistant. So you get antibiotic resistance of, these bacteria, of the bacteria. The same is in cancer. Cancer cells want to survive. They don't want to die. They get stronger and then they hide. So they want to survive against the cancer treatments. And when a cancer patient is given a kind of a clear bill of health, you're, we've got everything, everything's fine, then why do we see so often, a year later, two years later, but sometimes that cancer comes back and even more in other organs, in other glands, in other parts of the body, it spreads. And that type of cancer is more aggressive, more lethal, and more difficult to treat with any kind of cancer therapy. Because cancer cells leave a seed. It's called a stem cell. And when they leave these seeds, they're undetectable until they flare up into another form of cancer. They found that grapeseed extract could kill off the stem cells so that there was not a flare up of cancer in the future. This is really excellent because cancer cell, excuse me, cancer drugs don't do that. Cancer drugs don't kill off stem cells, but grapeseed extract does. But grapeseed extract has so many benefits. And why do, why do natural medicines have so many more benefits than drugs? Because drugs are one molecule. It targets one pathway. But in herbs of all kinds, not just grapeseed extract, but many, many different plant extracts have multiple molecules, even hundreds if not thousands of molecules. So it works on multiple pathways simultaneously at different levels of those pathways, giving you a better health benefit. So we want to make sure that these plant medicines are available to everyone so that you're aware of what can be done with such things as grapeseed extract, curcumin, boswellia, uh, andrographis. These are all very powerful medicines. But in this case here on the grapeseed extract, cardiovascular, supports the heart very, very well, uh, supports vascular systems. That means varicose veins, poor circulation, capillaries. When capillaries are weak, the blood seeps out. Some people say, well, I have a floater in my eye. What is the floater? It's a speck of blood because the capillaries in the eyes are seeping blood and the speck of blood gets in the eye area and it has to be a, a few days, maybe a few weeks before it's reabsorbed back into the system, back into the body but our capillaries break. Now, have you ever seen an older elderly person that has their forearm all black and blue, their hands are black and blue, they touch a table and their hands are bruised because the capillaries are, break, are breaking under the skin. Varicose veins, poor circulation, edema of the ankles, eye uh, conditions, any eye health, glaucoma, uh, um, uh, macular de degeneration, all of these conditions are supported by the health of grapeseed extract, as well as blood pressure. Grapeseed extract in studies showing that it lowered blood pressure as well as effectively as medication. So there's so many great benefits that everyone can benefit from grapeseed extract. Grapeseed extract is a powerhouse. It's a heavy lifter that does so much for the health of our body. And I made a resolution for January 1st in 2021 I propose I'm going to write nine books on natural medicines to get the message out. My first one is grapeseed extract. And here is grapeseed extract. This is my first book out this, well, in fact, I'm ahead of time because it's already out in 2020. So I'm ahead of the game already. But this is what I want to do is to help you understand more about it. Very inexpensive if you buy it. But if you go on Amazon, you can read it on Kindle Unlimited absolutely free. And you can do that for many, many other books too. So that's a great bargain by Amazon. Also, if you want to buy it on Amazon, it's only $7.95. It'll give you everything you want to know. And really, I just jotted it down quickly. Heart and arteries, blood sugar. Actually, it metabolizes blood sugar, lowers, lowers A1C, lowers blood sugar. Cellular protection, cancer protection. One of the best things you can use for cancer protection because it's highly concentrated with polyphenols. Immune function, cholesterol balance, weight management. In fact, it creates more lean muscle mass and helps you lose weight, that belly fat. Focus and concentration, great for brain function. 
blood pressure. These are all benefits. Cancer, high blood pressure, cardiovascular, varicose veins, poor circulation, edema of the ankles. You know, when you have heavy, tired legs, that's one of the first signs of varicose veins, even though you can't see them. When you go home after a long day of being on your feet, if you're working someplace and you're on your feet all day, you go home and you can't wait to put your feet up on a pillow or maybe even up against the wall because you want the legs, the, the, the fluid uh, of the circulation all to come back down the leg. So you're going back up to the heart because all that fluid goes away from the heart down to the ankles and it's pulled there until you either go to bed at night and you wake up in the morning, now, hey, my ankles are fine now. At the end of the day, they're not fine. Grapeseed extract can actually treat that very effectively. And if you're trying to lose weight, it's another good supplement to use to help you and improve your metabolism to lose weight. So keep all those good things in mind about grapeseed extract because it is a wealth of health for you. And with my book, you're going to learn a lot more so I want you to be uh, well aware of what natural medicines can do for you. So my friends, I'll be back here again with another Facebook event. I want to remind you that you can follow me more if you like at terrytalksnutrition.com. There you can listen to my radio show all over the world. We listen to it locally or otherwise it's live streamed to my website. You can also listen to the archive sections of the radio shows. And I have a newsletter that sends out information to you every Friday regarding herbal medicines and nutritional uh, components and whatever is necessary to make your body healthier. I just want to help you become more educated as why wealth is health, but it comes from natural plant medicines, not drugs. You may never have thought of this, but drugs do not promote health. They only chase disease. So we want to be healthy. We want to prevent disease. We want to maintain a good health overall. And so you can look at all that on my terrytalksnutrition.com website. And with that, my friends, I want to tell you, uh, God bless you and God bless America.